Hi everyone, Ella Rose here. I just thought I would give a quick read of this book of my granddad's that I've been reading, 1982 Reader's Digest. Secret societies have long been an essential ingredient in mankind's fascination in the art and power of magic. One of the most elusive and yet mentioned is the fraternity of the Rosary Cross, the Order of the Rosicrucians, which was held in a small pamphlet published in Kessel, Germany, possibly 1614, entitled Fatna Fraternus, the anonymous tract told the story of the Christian Rosicruz, a pious and learned Christian Rosicruz, a pious and learned young man who had travelled for many years in the Middle East, returned to Germany, a master of mathematics and natural science, as well as the professor of certain occult knowledge, gathering disciplines around him. Rosa Cruz, sorry for saying it wrong, directed the com complication of a vast library, after which five of the Brotherhood went into the world to perform the good works, pledging to reunite annually to seek out worthy successes and maintain secret secrecy for a hundred years. The Fatma went on to describe the discovery of 120 years after Christian Rosa Cruz's death at the age of 106, of his perfectly preserved corpse. A second pamphlet, Confesso Fraternus, appeared in 1615, an explanation of the purpose of the Brotherhood. A third pamphlet, dated 1616, accounted for the mysterious elegy of the occult overtunes. It's nearly differently Christian Rosicruz. Recent scholars have attributed the final pamphlet to a well-known German theologian of a period, Johann Valentine Andrea, this guy here. It is thought that Andrea might have also written the Fatma and the Confesso, but whether his motives were chiding or sincere is unknown. In any case, the effect of the 17th century Europe was electric. People became desperate to join such an elitist society, though no one could actually find it. Would-be members advertised more creative minds announced that they belong. The phenomenon passed by about 1620 in Germany at least though they appeared of the Rosary Cross lingers, the appeal of the Rosary Cross lingers today. Now, in 25th of June, 1625, they joined the Freemasons. That's why they disappeared. Okay, next video is the Golden Dawn. Thanks, guys. Bye.